Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we've got something quite unique. We've got the CAT S62 Pro, a rugged phone with a thermal imaging camera from CAT. Now interestingly enough it's not the first rugged phone from CAT and it's actually not the very first phone for, with thermal imaging camera from CAT. So that's like the third generation now. Um, which obviously shows that they are not new to this whole thermal imaging or rugged phones market. And knowing CAT, you can expect it's going to be very decent. So as usual, we've got the unboxing, we've got a the quick start guide, we've got the charger itself. Um, you are charging the phone via USB-C. I'll show you the lead in a second. Um, the charger itself does look kind of rugged as well and um, I like when you plug in the lead it kind of shows it looks a bit like a sealed unit so nothing sticks out that much um, and then let's have a look at the actual handset itself so we've got the flare imaging sensor we've got the camera which is 12 megapixel with an f-stop of 1.8 and a LED flash plus a fingerprint sensor on the back. We've got this rugged toughened look with the screws sticking out, volume up, volume down, power button on the side. Type C and a one mono speaker on the bottom and then we've got the shortcut button, SIM tray, memory card tray on the left. On the very front we've got the 8 megapixel camera. So, looking at the phone itself, let's have a look at what we are running on, and we are running on Android 10. Now, CAT has guaranteed that the phone will definitely be upgradable to Android 11 as well. We've got the Android security patch from August 2020, so that's when the phone was released this year. And to be honest, considering that the phone actually weighs around 248 grams, it still feels, it feels rugged, but it doesn't feel too heavy, um, which is nice. You do definitely feel it, feel it in the pocket um, due to its size, but it's actually quite nice to hold. We are running on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 660. Uh, we have... 6 gigabytes of RAM, we've got 128 gigabytes of internal storage, but obviously expandable via memory card, uh, which is always nice. Then when it comes to unlocking the phone, you can set up smart lock with face recognition, and then you've got the fingerprint sensor as well. The phone itself can withstand the drop up to 1.8 meters. It's IP68 rated as well, so obviously dust and water uh, protection, water protection up to 1.5 meter, uh, up to 35 minutes. And then obviously you've got the compliance with the meal, uh, standard 810H. So yes, very rugged phone, not like your <laughs> waterproof Xperia handsets. This is a proper rugged um, phone. So looking at the settings, it is it, it does look like a box standard Android handset, but you've got some quite unique features like this programmable shortcut key. So for example, uh, what you can do, you can set it up um, where the button itself will do different things. So if, let's say you double tap, you can do a flashlight. So you just double tap it and you've got the flashlight on. Which is quite nice because you don't have to unlock the phone or anything like that, you know, scroll down from the notifications panel or anything like that. And you can also do a long press. So let's say you can wake the device or I don't know, you need to, you're on the construction side and you, you need to do a Google Duo or of a launch flare. Um, you can do that by just pressing and holding the button, which is which is nice. Um, I do like programmable buttons, not like Samsung Bixby or whatever that does nothing than double up on the assistant. In terms of connections, obviously Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC. So if you want to use it uh, in Greg's early in the morning, you can use Google Pay if you'd like to. 
Um, so that's that. So in terms of quite unique features to the phone itself, you've got a gallery, but that gallery itself also allows you to create a lip report from your FLIR image. So for example, that's a picture of my body with different temperatures. Um, and then if you'd like to, you can create a report which tells you everything about the, the details of my body in, in this example and how it looks with and without FLIR. And then if you'd like to, you can share it straight away to OneDrive. So let's say your boss or anyone that collaborates with you and can have a quick glance at that report. We will go through the whole FLIR um, option in a second. But then we also have this toolbox. So you've got some of the cut apps, but also if you want to, it goes into like the, the, the Google Play Store and focuses on tools and apps that would enhance your productivity uh, when you're doing a job. Because obviously I've mentioned construction site, but this phone is aimed at literally everyone from, I went to a garage, we did a test of the temperature test where the exhaust is blowing. Um, if you're on an emergency uh, services worker, obviously you can benefit from that as well. If you're in the security and you're doing a patrol, um, obviously you can see a body temperature in the dark and so on, so on. So yeah, it, it, it does actually um, help other people. But if you're chilling on a bed in a car or somewhere and you want to play on it or, I don't know, watch something on it, you can do so as well because like i said underneath it's just a box standard android handset but quite unique so let's have an actual listen to the speaker and see how the quality um, is got the cream of the crop um, which is obviously the FLIR camera. CAD did actually a pretty decent ad for the actual imaging thermal imaging sensor um, so we'll have a quick look at how it looks like what it does. Obviously I did my part as well so I'll show you in a real life um, scenario how it looks like but the MSX for example allows you to adjust the um, actual intensity of the picture so you can see it clearer um, it's actually quite a big thing and then obviously you can take a picture and I like I've showed you you can send it as a report with all the figures and numbers um, that are on the actual um, report and then we've got the another quite a unique feature is the alpha blending which allows you to adjust the transparency of the thermal imaging so you can focus on what is actually showing um, as the hot point and obviously if you like to you can take a picture of that and then obviously generate a full report so if you're doing i don't know heating at your customer's house or anything like that take a picture you can even you know add annotations um onto the picture itself so quite a unique phone like i said 
And to be honest, the, the, the FLIR camera, standalone FLIR camera, is quite expensive itself. And um, so having that in a phone is actually pretty decent. I did a couple of tests myself just to see, you know, if, if how it works and <laughs> if the adverts are true. And yes, it does work pretty well. Um, I think my favorite thing, my favorite feature would be the MSX, uh, which allows you to adjust the clarity and sharpness of the picture itself, especially when I look at the boiler um, myself. Then I did some tests with my car as well. Now, my car is a hybrid, uh, the Lexus RX 450H. So it was interesting to see how at the beginning everything is obviously cold and it kind of stays cold because the petrol engine doesn't kick in for quite a while. Um, but I did actually manage to find my cat in the garden in the middle of the night, which was interesting um, and definitely helps if you're a security guard because the phone doesn't cost an arm and a leg. It's acted very decently for what you pay because you pay £599 um, and then you've got a phone which might really enhance your uh, workflow and especially when let's say you're a security guard and it's pitch black and obviously you might have your I don't know a flashlight or anything like that but you don't have to turn a flashlight and alarm everyone around you where you are and let them know because you can just turn on the imaging uh, thermal imaging and see where everyone is. Um, so yeah, pretty decent phone, pretty decent handset, um, especially that nowadays you can wash it with soap and water, uh, being water and dust proof helps a lot. So yeah, thanks for watching another episode of Quick Expert Reviews and I'll speak to you soon guys. Bye!